I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I've lobbed a suit that could reach into a hundred million dollars into the city budget and could reach even deeper than that with perhaps a second fouling. And not only that, but I've identified Eric Adams as a sort of a Pharaoh, a hard head, if you will, hard hearted, not to mention that the FBI is investigating him. And one of the ways that he might want to garner support through the LGBTQ and the pension of Negro, that, that's a Negro who's got a really good job with the city, with the government or with, you know, some institutions such as a college or whatever. They got a good job, got a good pension or their own television. They're a commentator, the news person. They got a good job. And uh, some of them have worked their way up through the post office or the transit department. They got a good job, got a good pension. And so they're pinching those Negroes. Now, they're not pinching those Negroes because they got a good pension. They're pinching those Negroes because they talk, they try to talk white. They, they want to live white. They want, they, they, you know, they talk like this because when a black man talks, you can tell that it's a black man or a black woman because they have a coarse tongue and their lips are generally thicker than, uh, than the Japheth and their nose is pinched a bit, a little bit tighter than white people or Japheth people. And so they talk. You can tell if you, got a, you can tell if you got a white person on the phone or whether you got a black person on the phone. Uh, and so black people want to be white. They pinch their nose so they sound and look and ain't quite they're pinch nose negroes in case you don't know what a pinch nose negro is there are plenty of them around across America including all of the mayors that have been people that have been elected mayor or congressperson or state representative or governor if there has been uh, there are about 30,000 of them across America and they're all pinch nose they're all pinch about 30 we, we used to call them Uncle Tom's until God gave me the revelation of what they are and what they're trying to do. So the Uncle Tom has been kind of put in the dumpster for a while, and they're they officially pinching those Negroes. Some of them work in entertainment. Some of them got good entertainment contracts, and some of them in basket, baseball or basketball, they're pinching those. Even some rappers are pinching those. I mean, even Jay Z thinks he's a pinch nose. He's a pinch nose, and his wife, Beyonce, if that's his wife, I don't know who she is. To make these people happy and to divert attention away from his asking that, that, that Hamite woman, because she's good looking, he wanted to have sex with her, and he wanted her to be his personal driver, his personal chauffeur. When he, when he, he, she had to be on, on shift when he's on shift. Now, he's the captain. He's police captain, right? He's going to, so he's, he, she would be his personal driver, his personal assistant, bring him orange juice, bring him water, get him the newspaper. And, and police and captains have that kind of, that's, they have personal assistants. Yeah, they're like a president, police department, the captain, you somebody, lieutenant too. She said no. And she said, well, she won't go give him no sex. Actually, she wanted, he, if you don't mind, this don't going to be too graphic, and I don't want to offend anybody that's a little bit sensitive. I know some of us are. Uh, but, you know, particularly a particular kind of sex. Let's just leave it that way. That, and so he's, he's, that he's now under criminal investigation for that. So in order to divert attention away from that, I suspect he's thinking about how can I, how can I divert attention? If I arrest Pastor Manning, it'll be in the news. And the pension of those Negro will be happy. The LGBTQ people will be happy. General black people living in shelters with making babies and ain't got no daddy, they'll be happy too. So that way I get a lot of people on my side if I arrested Pastor Manning. So I wanted to be able to say that to you.